Hello there, in this video I'm going to have a bit of a water hunt. It's not where you think though. It's not below the medieval bridge where I am expecting to go with my good friend Gary when we can coordinate our schedules. This is actually on holiday with this. It's a Vibrotector 730 from Treasure Products. And I actually bought this from America, from Treasure Mountain, from Ed. Treasure Mountain. I'll put the link to his website in the video description. Now I bought this thing last year. I went on holiday to Lanzarote and had a little bit of success. Found a few coins and so on. A lot of ring pulls. It was good but the sea was a little bit too rough. I was getting thrown around all over the place. So this year I took it back to Mallorca and I found it absolutely excellent. Not only did it find coins and other things like hair clips and so on and ring pulls obviously. As I was swimming along with my flippers, giving it a bit of this, it also did extremely well in amongst the rocks. I was going along and I was going in and out all the little cracks in the rocks, the gaps between where the huge rocks were, the sand between there, and I was finding a lot of stuff. None of it was worth anything. It was maybe a couple of one euro pieces and maybe one or two two euro pieces in terrible condition but I enjoyed using this ten times more than using the Deus on the beach even though the Deus was finding coins left right and center this was much more enjoyable Now this is a small pulse induction metal detector, fully waterproof, down to 30 meters, which is roughly 100 feet. And when you pass over a target, say like this mobile phone, or something smaller, it actually picks up really tiny coins down to about 4 inches in sand underwater, which is, it's a good depth for a very small coin. So when you pass over something metallic, anything metallic, it doesn't discriminate. The light flashes and the nearer you get to the target the more the light flashes and the more the handle vibrates. It's a little bit like a, a, a probe that you would use for metal detecting. At the end of the day it's a pulse induction probe with a metal detector head on that's pretty much what it is but it does an excellent job can't remember how much it was I know it was well over a hundred quid and that was last year but I would thoroughly recommend getting one of these for your summer holidays it's got a little security strap there so you can't really lose it I went out with a sand scoop, so I kind of had this hanging loose while I was driving on with a sand scoop, passing back over it with this, and I absolutely loved using it. And there's a friend of mine on YouTube called Julie, channel name Tweety Bird, I'll put the link to her channel. She's just bought two of these to go on her summer holidays with, with her, one for her, one for her husband or boyfriend. I did send her a message saying, look, I've got one of these fellas. I absolutely love using it. I wish you the best of luck with yours. So I'm really looking forward to watching her video or videos of them two using this because it's it's a cracking detector.
<laughs> so to replace the battery, unscrew the end, pull out the little connector and attach the new 9 volt battery. That's it. Shove it back in the hole, push this in, but keep the washer pulled down as far as you can so when you tighten this up, as it goes in, the neoprene block expands and creates the seal. See how tight the washer is to the handle? You've got a good seal there. You don't need to go mad tightening it, you can tell when it's tight enough. So now when you hold it up, See the light flashing? It's ready to go. There you go. So not only does the light flash, but it also vibrates as well. Then when you want to turn it off, all you do is hold it upside down for a few seconds. Put it back up. See the light flashing there? And it's off. It actually tells you in the instructions on here that you just need to hold it upside down and it'll switch off. Mine doesn't. You've got to hold it upside down and then hold it the right way up for mine to switch off. It doesn't really matter. As long as I know how to switch it off, I can switch it off. There you go. It's back on again because I've got it held back up. What I would really love to see is a one, possibly with a telescopic shaft, with a bigger head, maybe it's an 8 inch head instead of a 4 inch head, with a little bit more power and depth. So you were getting down to 8, 9 inches, and you would have an absolutely awesome shallow water metal detector for when you go on your summer holidays. Because during the day, you look like a right scavenger if you're out on the beach with your metal detector. With this, you don't at all. And I absolutely love this. I can't really say much more about it other than I love it. It's excellent. I just wish I had the money and time to go on more summer holidays because there's no way I'm swimming around in the North Sea because it's bloody freezing. Thanks very much for watching. If you're going abroad or you live somewhere hot, get one of these, they're absolutely excellent. As I say, I would love to see a bigger one, I would certainly buy a bigger one. So, they come highly recommended from me. Thanks very much for watching. Get it, boy.